In this video, I'm going to show you how to identify market maker models and how to trade market maker models using my simple fair value gap strategy. If you guys don't know me, my name's Ryan. I've been trading for about five to six years and I made over $100,000 just from trading. So without further ado, let's get started. What is a buy and sell model? Okay, if I just simply type in ICT buy and sell model on YouTube, and again, you can do this too. Now, the first thought that a lot of people have is they're thinking, oh, it has to be these three boxes and then these four boxes back up. That is completely false. The idea of this buy model and sell model is just kind of the curve, okay? And the consolidation on the curve. Okay, that's how you'd identify a buy and sell model. It doesn't have to look exactly like this, which would be the buy model. And with every single buy model and every single sell model, the reversal always comes from some higher time frame PD array or liquidity point. So you can see at the bottom of this, it represents this line represents some sort of higher time frame order block, a fair value gap, a liquidity pool, something along the lines of that. We have to reverse from something. Okay. So what I do to identify a buy or sell model is a little different than other people. Obviously, I look for the beginning consolidation or the beginning liquidity pool. Maybe it's equal highs, maybe it's equal lows, whatever I think that the draw liquidity is going to be. And I look for a down move, okay, which this consolidation right here is actually optional. What I look for for the main reversal part is a market structure shift over a high that's inside of a old fair value gap, okay? So I look for a fair value gap, a bearish fair value gap, a high that was formed inside of it, a manipulation leg, and then I look for a market structure shift over that high. Whereas a lot of people, they're going to look for just any market structure shift that is not a high inside of a fair value gap here. Okay. But the mar market maker models truly start when you get a market structure shift over a high inside of a fair value gap. Those are the best market structure shifts, in my opinion. And those are the best spots you can find along on the pullback. Now, you're all probably wondering do I have to short this? No, the answer is no. The majority of the time I'm trading in a buy model, I either long here or I long here. Okay. I don't catch the whole buy model and you don't need to either. But the biggest thing with the buy and sell model is I look for the market structure shift. Okay. Over that fair value gap or over the high inside of a fair value gap. So let's just look at a few examples on the chart so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So in this example here, we have a buy model and you're probably like, Dodgy, it doesn't look like that picture. Okay. It's not, it doesn't have to look exactly like the picture, but we kind of have original consolidation here. Okay. I'll just circle it. We have some more consolidation here and we kind of have that nice little curve to it. And we have a super bullish reaction. Okay. Off of this low here. And you're probably like, why this low? Well, a couple reasons. This is an Asian low. Okay, Asia range low, which makes it better, but it's just a very obvious low. It, you can very simply see it. And obviously there's a bullish reaction to it. Okay. In hindsight, we see this, but in live time, I'm still going to look for longs in this scenario because I know this is a very bullish reaction to this. Okay. Maybe I'm not long yet, but this is where I'll start looking. So we got it kind of our original consolidation right here, more consolidation here, very bullish reaction. And then we form a lower high here and then here, and we shift over that lower high here. So how do I know this is going to become a buy model back to the original high, which would be right here? Well, I can tell because this high is inside of this bearish for rally gap right here. And we clearly accelerated and broke it with a lot of momentum. But the key thing here is it's breaking a high inside of an old fair rally gap. Okay. So it's breaking the high inside of old fair rally gap. So when we break that, I'm looking for a retracement to the 50% of this leg. So I'm going to draw a fib tool from this low to this high right here. Cause that's the leg that broke structure. And I'm looking for a 50% retracement right here and I'm going in the lower time frame here. Maybe it's the one minute, maybe it's the 30 second, maybe it's the 15 second, maybe it's a five minute right here. And I'm looking for some sort of long setup in this green circle because on the higher time frame, I see we shifted structure, which, tell, which tells me it's probably going to be a buy model. 
I'm not going to enter out the hourly here because it's too big of a zone. So I'm going to look for a lower time frame long here. The second example is actually right next to it. Okay, we have a cell model here. Okay, but what tells us this is going to be a cell model? We have our kind of original consolidation here. Okay, with a low, which is actually created during Asia, which is important because time based liquidity is important. And at the top, we have a fair rally gap and we put a low right here inside of that fair rally gap. And what happens here is we kind of break that low inside the fair rally gap, get a second liquidity sweep with another major bearish reaction. And when we break that structure, I am all looking for shorts. I'm looking for shorts in here. I'm looking for shorts in here. Remember, these are hourly candles right here. So I'm going to the one minute time frame during these two candles because I see, oh, we broke a low inside of a fair rally gap with a very bearish wick or bearish reaction. So on the hourly time frame, during that first consolidation leg, which I'd consider here, I'm going to the one minute and I'm looking for that short setup to bring me where? Well, down to that first low that kind of started this move up. So that's what I am really looking for. If you have any questions, just make sure to leave them in the comments. So this is the third and final example. We're forming a bunch of lower highs, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And then finally we break that last lower high. Now we have to just make sure that this lower high is inside of a fair value gap. Okay. And if we look to the left, indeed it is. So because we're shifting over high that was in a bearish fair value gap, this is likely to become a market maker buy model. So in hindsight, obviously we see it becomes one, but right when I see this right here, I know, okay, we got a lot of displacement above this last lower high that was inside this for gap. I know to look for longs inside that bulls for rally gap now. Okay, because again, a market maker typically starts when we inverse or break a fair value gap to the left, but also that has a high that rejected it first. Okay, so you can see we end up getting along. Now you're probably wondering, would I have taken along here? No. I would have went to the lower time frame and looked for along here. If I don't find one here, I'll look for one up here. Okay, and then you're kind of targeting those previous swing points. So maybe here, maybe here. And, and remember, not all of them are gonna hit, but that's why you scale out and take partials. And then the final target to me, the thing that looks most obvious would probably be this high, because to me, again, you're going for a high that's inside of an old bearish gap here. So I know people shorted here. So to me, that would probably be the final target. Um, it looks like it would have stopped me out of break even if uh if i was in the position but here's the thing we could always re-enter here right you could re-enter here because again it's another shift over high inside of a fair valley gap right here so you could easily enter here now we did not pull back to the fair valley gap for this one but you could have maybe found a lower time frame entry right here okay because we're shifting over the high inside of fair valley gap and you're still going for that original consolidation that the market still wants to target from down here so basically that's what I look for. And I go to lower time frame, and I'm looking for my IPG setup to get in somewhere. As you all know, I only use inverse fair value gaps. And recently I made a full free PDF of inverse fair value gap rating setups that I use to rate my own setups A through C. So if you want to check that out, just click the first link in the description. It's completely free and uh, hopefully should help you. Again, let's say on the hourly time frame, we're in a huge buy model here. There's some sort of original consolidation sitting up at this line. All I'm doing is I'm waiting for a dump and then I'm waiting for an inverse. Okay. This is the one minute time frame, but again, imagine we're in an hourly buy model, just like I showed you. I'm waiting for a dump and then I'm waiting for an entry. So I see a dump here. We, we wreck that dump. We close above that bearish gap. I'm in there. I'm targeting wherever that original consolidation is. Okay. And it might take a few tries. Okay, you might get stopped to break even a few times. You might maybe scale some at this high and then you get stopped to break even. You might want to enter again, maybe here. Okay, you're going to have to be creative with it. Okay, it's not a single mechanical strategy. Okay, and again, it all is the same idea of going for the high, that original consolidation that's formed by the buy model when we break that high that was inside of Fabriola Gap. Obviously, on the one minute time frame here, you can't really see a high broken inside of Fair Valley Gap. We're just going to assume that it happened in the hourly, maybe down here. 
to tell us there's going to be a buy model to this line, which may be some sort of previous consolidation. So just so you guys have the idea of it. Okay. So that's really what I look for. That is going to be it for this video. Remember, do not forget to use code Dodgy. There's an 80% off discount code for Apex. If you want to practice buying, buying these buy models or selling these sell models and taking actual positions, do it on a prop account. Do not do it on a live account because you need to practice. Just like how you play football or basketball, you go practice first, okay? These prop firm accounts are good practice because they're cheap and there's a possibility of you getting paid. So they're good practice. I'd recommend clicking the link in the description below. Use code Dodgy for a discount and do not enter with a live account until you have mastered what I'm teaching here today. That is going to be it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.